www.pradio.net gaya juara yeay sobat pi masih bersama saya Dita Utami dan juga masih di Sabtu Bos bisa obrol sana obrol sini dan kali ini saya kedatangan dua orang yang weh yang satu ganteng yang satu cantik siapa coba hi we have a guest in here special guest who are they hi in love Could you uh, please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Michael. And Hi. together we are in, in love. love. Hi, in <laughs> love. <laughs> How are you? We're feeling really good today. Thank you. Okay, yeah. bye, yeah. Okay. Bye. And um, can you um, introduce yourself, Amanda and Michael, and then um, we want to know about your maybe up here. Mm, childhood. Wow. Okay. What about your childhood? Mm, where do you We're live? Getting, where do you come from? Sure. Something like that. We're getting deep right away. Right <laughs> after the childhood. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, well, my name is Amanda, like I said, and I was born in Kansas City, Missouri, mm -hmm. a big music town. My dad, my grandma, my ancestors. Mm -hmm were musicians and poets for a really long time. Mm. So I grew up in a house who had a lot of instruments around and we were always um, singing at church, which made me really naturally sing from the heart because it was always for God. Okay. So that really nourished my music uh, love and natural, spiritually focused lyrics, I'd say. Okay. Ooh. And Michael? <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of had a, I'm from the Midwest of the United States too, originally mm -hmm. from Chicago. Mm -hmm. And maybe my upbringing was a little different from Amanda's. Mm -hmm. I, at a very young age, I, It was maybe like 12, I started playing guitar. Mm -hmm. And then that naturally led into me writing songs. And I wrote my first song when I was maybe 14. Mm -hmm. And from there, it's just, it hasn't stopped. The songs keep coming through. And I was in a, in a band back in the day called Treaty of Paris that was quite, um, had some success mm -hmm. in the United States. And so I went through the whole having a record deal and touring the country and all of that. And eventually just decided that I wanted to do something different. And so I think in love, what I'm doing now with Amanda is much more aligned with who I am and mm -hmm. who we are. And so we just want to share, you know, what it means to be in love with the world. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Sebenarnya ya Sobat Pia, dari tadi saya sudah ngobrol sama Amanda dan juga Michael Dari pertama mereka datang, mereka tuh ramah banget dan juga seneng banget gitu ya Kayaknya kita ngobrol-ngobrol di sini dan kita bakal ngobrolin memang tentang in love ini Dan lagu single mereka juga Tapi, kita juga bakal nanya-nanya juga tentang uh, Amanda and Michael Pengen tahu juga Amanda and Michael, how long have you been staying in Indonesia? Maybe uh, the Sobat Pia The listeners is called Sobati. Sobati is really wants to know about you guys. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sobati. Yeah. We are coming to go to London. Mm. Uh, Satu Tahun. Mm. Just yeah. today actually is the one year anniversary mm. I arrived in Jakarta okay. uh, for the welcoming ceremony of the Dharma Siswa program. Mm -hmm. And that is what brought uh, me to scholarship in is beasiswa. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. But actually, it's not the beasiswa. It's dharma. Siswa. Oh, dharma. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And basically, uh, the Ministry of Education mm -hmm. in Indonesia gives us scholarships mm -hmm. for people from all over the world to come study the social budaya. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it was Tari Tradisional. Um, Sundanese and Javanese culture that really I initially fell in love with yeah. in the U.S. Okay. 
and I am about you, Michael. <laughs> yeah, and I, we were in Bali when we first came to Indonesia, mm -hmm. and that's how we started our trip. It was kind of like a pre-celebration trip of coming to Bandung, and Amanda started school, and I stayed in Bali mm -hmm. for a couple of weeks because I was enjoying myself, and I'm like, you go have fun with school, I'm gonna hang back. So I arrived two weeks later to Bandung and have been here ever since. So it will be my one year of being in Bandung in about another two weeks will be a full year that I've been here. And um, we're wondering, how do you, Amanda and um, Michael, meet for the first time? Oh. Yeah, so... Remember? Yes. <laughs> yeah, how could we forget? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, I went to my close friend's mm -hmm. birthday party, mm -hmm. and it was on the property where I lived for several years. Mm -hmm. um, and Michael came to the birthday as well. He was new to town, the new guy in town. Oh! And, uh, Newbie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> From just across... The party there was a, a campfire, mm, and campfire. it was outside. And I saw him with his guitar, and I felt like, oh no, that's him. She meant, oh yes, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, the oh no part was that I actually already had a boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, uh, basically, I walked up to him and... Do you want me to share the rest of the story? Yeah. So, we were sitting around the campfire, mm -hmm. and I started to play one of my songs on yes. guitar. Yeah. And... What song? What song? It's, a, it's one of my, uh, my own songs. It's called Be Here Now. Okay. And she didn't know it was one of my songs. She mm -hmm. just thought I was playing guitar. guitar. And what I know now that I didn't know then is Amanda is amazing at improvising, and she can write a song right on the spot. Thank and you. all the words, the, all the melody, complete song right on the spot. So she started singing over my song. Oh. And I just let her, because <laughs> what she was singing was so beautiful and moving, and it seriously brought me to tears. Mm -hmm. Like, it was such a beautiful song, and I, say, and I said, when I finished, I was like, oh, I don't even want to play my song anymore, okay. because that was so good, and she's like, no, please play your song. And I, I played it. Know. She it didn't know. Your song. I'm so sorry. Please oh, it's play. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so, she, so I played my song, and then mm -hmm. it had the same effect on her, where it brought her to tears. So mm -hmm. we knew, we kind of knew from that moment that there was something special between mm -hmm. us, musically at the very least. And that's kind of what we we started first as friends and like explore, exploring the music together, and had a lot of fun doing it. And some of those initial songs that we wrote right after hanging out for the first few times are on our album. Yeah. They ended up on our album. So it's amazing. It's been an amazing journey together. Yeah. It's a good collaboration yeah. with heart and love. Of yes, course. of course. Yeah. And um, I wonder uh, if you have been um, to many cities. How many cities have been traveled so far in Indonesia? Uh, for Indonesia, we actually, uh, it's so many we can hardly keep track as far as cities go, but for Bali, we were in Sabuk, in Kisar, mm -hmm. Ahmed, um, Negara, mm -hmm. and, you know, generally the tourist destinations that you would go to, and then uh, when we came to Java and West Java, we went to Jakarta, we went to Cirebon, Solo, Pangalino, Jogja, Bandung of course, and Sojantelo, I think. Yeah, you said Solo. Yeah, so many, also uh, Chirondo, we went to, oh. or I went to a traditional village. Karamanjawa. Oh, Karamanjawa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Did you do surfing, Apa, uh, snorkeling? Yes. Snorkeling, yes. Snorkeling, yeah. We love snorkeling. Mm -hmm. We had a good time snorkeling. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there was a few other places I'm leaving out, but maybe at least 10 already. Nice. Well, and then, um, and then Sumatra. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bunku. Sumatra. Bunku. For the uh, Bumi Rafalesia. Yes, Bumi Rafalesia. Yeah. 
Wow. And uh, what impressed you guys about, about Indonesia? Indonesia? Well, I think the thing that stood out for both of us right away was how kind mm -hmm. and generous the people were. Are. And how generous they are. They are. Yeah, <laughs> everybody has really big hearts here and mm -hmm. they're so kind and generous and it's and it's just when you come here from the United States and you're received in that way with so much love mm -hmm. um, it's really yeah it's really touching I think it's it's something we'll never forget yeah I think the other thing we realized is at least everybody we've met in Bandung mm -hmm. that tends to show up in our community are musical geniuses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the musicians uh, <laughs> here are so talented in Bandung. Yeah, yeah you, uh, you know, you have a friend who, in our case, like, we have a friend who plays the drums with us at times in mm -hmm. our band, and we find out, like, ten months later, he's also, like, a fabulous guitarist, and he says he can't play the guitar. Yeah. or sing so yeah. everyone's just like <laughs> very humble very yeah. humble yeah. and you wouldn't know the mastery of their sharing if you didn't just really I think for us like collaborate and ask for mm -hmm. collaboration because everybody just seems like a regular guy and also I think yeah. the spiritual nature of praying when, mm -hmm. when we're around so many Islamic people, we mm -hmm. didn't really understand what that would be like. Uh, I think there, for us, like religion doesn't really usually fall into the same categories as being spiritual, like in the United States. So when we think like most of the people are Islam, we didn't know really what to mm -hmm. expect. However, the more we learned about uh, the practice of praying five times a day and uh, just having fasting, yeah, fasting, fasting purification, yeah. blessing, and also having this tribal, more animism tradition that runs congruently with Islamic practice was really, I think, refreshing and helped us feel at home because I think Michael and I both being brought up Christian, mm -hmm. we still see the value of those traditions in our lives for uh, keeping our families together and honoring where we came from. However, our personal connection with God is, is the most important thing for us. So seeing people have that amidst being in a strong religious practice was really inspiring to me too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. And um, we're gonna back soon. Okay. okay. <laughs> dan uh, sobat pi, nanti kita akan kembali lagi sama Michael dan juga Amanda. Tenang aja, dan kemana-mana kita akan kembali lagi setelah yang satu ini ya. Ya. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Michael, kayaknya uh, you get closer. Oh, closer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe lifting like yeah, like rubbing it. Oh yeah, rubbing. Yeah. <laughs> it was a little quiet. Quiet. It was a little quiet. Yeah. yeah okay. Nah. I think because I was looking at you. I should have been forward. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello out there in Facebook Live Land. <laughs> Brown P Radio. Nanti abis ini, uh, after this uh, this session, we are um, going into In Love and Your Single. Okay. Yeah. How you met it, and how you wrote it. Who wrote it? You start introducing, like, with the you are and all that. Okay. Or like, yeah, but he contacted you. You mean? Uh, we found Imam because he was on a party at Unis. Unis? Uni. 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 Oh, Uni. Oh, okay. Uni. 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 Yeah, Uni. Uh, so, so he he uh, knew about me, but his English is not so good, so mm -hmm. he didn't introduce himself. Okay. And later, he contacted Michael on Facebook, mm -hmm. and we just went over there and made the song, recorded it, and all the same day, and 
then he brought in later the gum one. Suli? Yeah. Sarong. Sarong. And Kim Dong are in the song. The song. How long did you make it that, that in this month? How long did it take uh, to, to, write? to write the song? The lyrics? Uh -huh. The lyrics. And maybe? That's it? Just no. how long did it take uh, to write long, the lyrics? Uh, and then who involved the musician? Yeah. yeah. Made the video like for it. your YouTube, YouTube okay. channel. Okay. Yeah, I have. Yeah, look them up because you have to do everything to the mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at that. Well then, I'm doing that too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> After this song, we're going to Well, we don't have to know the... We don't have to she know said them. who? Well, we can just say the players, what they play. I mean, I don't want to pronounce the names wrong either. Because I might. She can. Oh, okay. If it's short, it means no, it's okay. You want to give everybody credit? You can. This is new station. Or no, new headphones. No, she said it's new. She said it's in paper. Yeah, look at these headphones. It's in 2019. <laughs> How did you get into this? position of uh, hosting radio? Oh, my program director, the program director is the, uh, who is uh, controlling the announcer. And then the program director is my program director in my radio station, my old, the old one before this one. Uh -huh. So he knows me. Rofi, the name is Rofi. Rofi knows me and he uh, asked me to join this. Cool. I said, okay, I'm in. Nah, Dinas Pendidikan, Provinsi Jawa Barat, Cikombe. Cool. Triple W, the period of life. This one is the one, the one and only Indonesia. Dinas Pendidikan. The only in national. In all of Indonesia. Indonesia. Oh, wow. The only nationally funded radio station, or? Uh, yeah, the government owned this one, only one, uh, this radio the station. Only one. Yeah. Wow. Well, we don't get paid for any of our shows. Pardon? <laughs> Just make sure that we don't get paid for anything because we don't have the right. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> 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 I mean, you can pay us if you want, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's all being recorded. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell, <laughs> tell. <laughs> 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 It's like 30 minutes. It'd have to be really quick. Oh, maybe voice memo too? Because we have everything. Okay, we can start it again. Did you hear me? I have it. Voice memo. No, I have. Oh, voice memo. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Masih di www.pradio.net Gaya Juara Ya Sobat Pi kita masih bersama In Love Ada Michael dan juga Amanda Kita bakal ngobrol-ngobrol mengenai um, Terbentuknya In Love itu seperti apa Dan juga uh, mengenai singlenya Yang berjudul In This Now Pengen tahu dong ya udah Nanti kita tunggu kita ngobrol-ngobrol lagi ya Oke okay. Hey Amanda and Michael Hey Hai Hai <laughs> um, In Love why did you choose these words in love? Amanda, you want to share? Sure. Uh, in love, we feel holds a universal meaning mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. Love everywhere in everything for everyone. Mm -hmm. So when we say we are in love, we really mean everything is living inside of love and the root of all existence comes from love mm -hmm. so people might see us and say oh you guys are in love that's so cute and that's nice to have personal love and i think what 
for us, how we wanted to set ourselves apart from writing love songs, generally speaking, was to write universal love songs. So we say what kind of songs we write, we write universal love songs. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, you have been uh, together for for work for work uh, uh, work song song writing and uh, like that for one year. No. Uh, together, we've been writing songs for three years. Oh, three yeah. years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then over three years now. Oh yeah. Okay, and um, your single is called "In This Now." Right? Yeah. Can you tell me about this song? What inspired you to write this song? And how many musicians involved this project? Something like that. Maybe? Michael? Sure. Yeah. So we met through actually one of all of our mutual friends, uh, Yuni. Mm -hmm. We met um, a man by the name of Iwan Chia. Mm -hmm. And he contacted us actually through Facebook and asked us to come over. And at first he's just like, come over, I have a coffee shop and a recording studio. Yeah. And then we, we come to find out, oh, he wants to collaborate mm -hmm. on a song with us. And that's why we're coming over. So we sat down that very day that we got there for the first time to his house and his studio mm -hmm. and his coffee shop. And we instantly started writing this song um, because he had kind of, we asked him what he wanted the song to be about and he just said, nature. Mm -hmm. And so Amanda, the channel that she is, you know, I start playing guitar. Mm -hmm. You know, the first thing that comes to me after he kind of says the intention of the song. And then she starts singing over it and I would say within maybe 30 minutes, the song was finished. Oh. The lyrics, the guitar, everything was finished and that very day, we recorded the guitar, uh, the foundation of the song, and did uh, scratch vocals, which are like, not the final vocals, but we, they help carry the song so that the music producer can, you know, finish the song. And so we did all that in one day, and then maybe a week later, I don't remember, a week or two weeks at the most, Iwan sends us the song, with like all of the these amazing instruments <laughs> added with drums, with bass, with gamelan instruments, uh, suling, sarong, uh, kendang, and we're just like, <laughs> we're listening to it, we're like, wow, this sounds so amazing. We've never created a song like this before, so we were really excited. At, you know, we, we couldn't believe how good it sounded. So we were very, very happy, yeah. Okay. In this now, uh, what's the meaning of this song? Well, the lyrics really mm. represent mm. how we all have this sense of when we live in a big city or mm. we spend our lives moving from one box mm. to another box, how we can really lose our sense of nature, mm. of either be connected to nature or uh, the, the role we have in co-creating nature for the benefit of not only humanity but mm. all the beings who live and call this planet home. So In This Now mm. is a song to help us all remember when we connect to our heart, we're immediately connected to nature. And from that place, we can make a huge difference. Whether we live in the city or we live in the country, there are so many opportunities to be connected, give gratitude, steward the earth, and to appreciate the natural world around us, which in my belief, what we focus on is what we put energy to and, and the time we're living in now, mm -hmm. I think there's a big call for humanity to step up and remember their role in stewarding the planet to its highest potential. So the song really is about that, is how can we remember no matter where we are, we're always a part of it all, is mm -hmm. the lyric, and 
not apart from it all. Um, and use that empowerment to really make the best planet for not only humanity now and all the beings living here, but as we say in uh, the Native American tradition, for seven years, mm -hmm. in the seven, seven generations mm -hmm. into the future, always thinking about leaving going to continue to transform and become something new you know every time we make a song so for us um, yeah in love the next step is releasing our album in it looks like October now and uh, se our set date for our first single from the album mm -hmm. is September 27th and that's going to be for our song rainbows okay. which is the first song that we wrote together Well, it's yeah. called Rainbow. Rainbows, mm -hmm. yeah. And um, album, how many songs will be in that album? Um, 11. 11 songs, okay. Wow, I can't wait to have it. <laughs> we'll you. make sure you have it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, and actually, In This Now is not on this album. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have inspiration. One vision for mm -hmm. the future of our band is to collaborate with different cultures from all over the world. So mm -hmm. the idea is we'd have one album focusing on Indonesian oh, instrumentation okay. collaboration. And as we, as Michael said, mm -hmm. expand and grow uh, on our journey, mm -hmm. our spiritual journey to live in love, we will discover the next culture to focus on and uh, what music really is calling to be held by the in love because I think we didn't necessarily have an intention to be so immersed into world uh, music collaboration, making a genre of Western meets mm -hmm. world music. Yes. Yeah. And what, yeah, and what's happened mm -hmm. since we've been here is that's kind of all that's been happening. <laughs> so yeah. we're surrendering to what you know the universe wants us to do and we're very inspired by the Indonesian traditional music mm -hmm. that we've discovered here and we want to yeah like Amanda said incorporate that into you know we're releasing our first album now and we've already thought about our second album being a collaboration with uh, traditional yeah. music from all over Indonesia yeah. and each song having a different part of Indonesia in it yeah. so Right now, that's that's inspiring us. Yeah. Okay. Good yeah. luck. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And um, Amanda and Michael, what is of your opinion about music in general along this 2019 in general? Like popular music, music or music from, you know what I mean? Like. Um, like music industry like or music, like. Music industry. Mm. Well, the. To me, the music industry has mm -hmm. opened it, opened it up a lot for independent artists, mm -hmm. and there's an opportunity now, as an independent artist, to do a lot more than you could have, let's say, ten years ago. Yeah. So for us, it's just like, yeah, uh, adapting into that and embracing it and mm -hmm. embracing what we can share because of the internet and online streaming, like this radio station and different things like that that are going to allow it's going to allow our music to be heard by so many more people than we could have you know let's say 10 years ago reached mm -hmm. so without being signed to a major label or any label or anything like that so 
Yeah, for, for us, it's like, it's a very exciting time in the music industry because of that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And um, do you have any advice for the young teenager and in challenging for this word globalization? Because yeah. this radio is for the young teenage, for the high school oh, yeah. or something like that. Yeah. I would just say uh, everybody has their own voice that they're born with. Um, and I don't just mean the sound of your voice. I mean your, your experiences, your stories, your culture. And there's nobody who's more of a master of you than you. And there's such a... Uh, risk for homogenization and a future society that only looks to one culture, in this case I'm speaking to the Western mm -hmm. society that we know it, as the ideal way of life. And I think um, learning to love your uniqueness and find ways to bring that in onto a global stage without diluting mm. the uh, mastery that you have in learning about that and, and asking the people that came before you about what's their experience and, and really seeing how there's so many elements that went into your story. Why just focus on one of the popular culture as a way of being? Why not focus on your family story, your uh, societal story, your religious background, your uh, spiritual experiences, your even the natural world where you were born. Uh, really, it's different all over the world. And if we only hear music about one kind of world, I believe music inspires and shapes society. So without many voices, coming into that inspiration, we really, I think, my advice to the future generations is don't allow your culture to become extinct mm -hmm. because um, there's endangered species on the planet and one of those species is cultures, <laughs> endangered yeah. culture. Um, my biggest advice is just to love yourself and don't think you have to conform to whatever is the social norm mm -hmm. for whatever you think is somebody else because there is no such thing. It's just a made up idea uh, created to get people to buy more stuff and to forget really who they are. So uh, remember. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Kita akan kembali lagi after that, and we are gonna listen for life in this world after this. Abis ini after this. Okay. This. Can I go to the restroom? Okay, okay. quickly. Okay, okay. I'll wait for you. Okay. You have to. <laughs> no, no, no choice. <laughs> Can we try for yeah. this one? Yeah. Where should I sit with the guitar? Is here okay? okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Michael? I have one sister. Oh, one sister. Yeah, older sister. Older. Uh, my dad, yeah. My mom passed away uh, like about ten years ago now. But yeah, but my dad is, is there. He lives actually half the year in the Chicago area, um, and then the other half of the year in Florida. He goes for the winter to avoid the winters in <laughs> Chicago because they're very cold and a lot of snow. Oh so, yeah. yeah. 
I wish I could go to Chicago someday. Then you will. Yeah. <laughs> I wish for that too, and if you do, let me know. Because yeah. I might be there visiting my family. <laughs> <laughs> You're due, right? Because it was, it's been since 2000, you said, since you've been to the United States? Yeah. yeah. It's time for you to go again. <laughs> so but, Chicago now, uh, but now, we, uh, I'm with my family, maybe. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm, uh, in 2000, I'm a single now. Oh, yeah, now you have, a, you have to bring the whole family with. Yeah, yeah. the whole family <laughs> with the kids. <laughs> How old are your kids? Uh, 11 years and then six and a half, and all girls. All girls, yeah. yeah. Okay, but the visa is very difficult. That's what I hear. Yeah, yeah in America it's very difficult. Because if I go um, to travel agent like that, I have to uh, take care of it myself. Mm -hmm. In Jakarta, um, you yeah. take a visa. Or... Yeah, I've heard, I've talked to a lot of people here who have had their visa denied. Yeah, yeah. It's very difficult. Yeah. In two thousand, maybe it's more easier. Easier. Than... Yeah. It's actually kind of a difficult process for us too to, for the visa yeah. here. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of paperwork and a lot of. Yeah. Of course. A lot to it. <laughs> okay. Well, please, read the verse That's it. One, one song. Okay. Is the way the guitar is. Huh? Is the way the mic is fine? Can we try? Can hear the guitar. Hear it. You can hear it. Apa, you should change this. Oh, uh, him say here, yeah. Maybe just sit here and then. Or I could put, this. should I put it lower? Like this? Yeah, lower. I can put it lower. Oh, just put it top. lower. Yeah, lower. Or this one is going oh, to. I could use one as a mic. Oh, oh okay. I could use two, right? Like one for. Yeah. And she could be yeah. over yeah. there. Yeah, this yeah. one is for your, uh, uh, your guitar. I think that's the best way to do it. It's not attached to people. Oh, it fell. That was the wrong one. Fail? <laughs> no, that was right. It just needs to be in here. Oh, you're moving it, yeah. Stop pulling it, please. Okay. Just hold it up for me. MJ. Maybe later. Itu taruh di bawah aja. You you can go hold down. It, hold it up. Hold it hold up. It's hurting me. Oh, you can put it down. There okay. we go. It's okay. Almost got it. Actually, if you let it go, I think it'll be closer to my guitar. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Excuse me. It's okay. Ah, okay. Amanda, you can do this. That's perfect. This is where no, you have the left. Not where it was with the close, close. Okay. It's okay. And then this one is for you. Let's check this one. Can you try it before we're on air? Yep. Three? Okay. Let's 
testing, testing. Testing, can testing. Can you hear me? I can't hear. I can't hear myself. You don't have to. Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> and you will once she stops. Oh, okay, that's fine. <clears throat> Michael. Michael. Let me see you move, Michael. Can't believe I can take it, oh baby. If she you is really a singer. love me, take it out of love. See that, baby, tell me. That's wild that this is a Michael Jackson song. Remix. Now that feels so good. Coba lagi you don't care, you don't net, gaya juara Dan Sobat Pi, kita mau dengerin langsung ya Kita live aja langsung mau dengerin lagu dari MNJ and Michael In Love with In This Now Oh 
just begin with the end of what you know. Open yourself to a home. And the open thing is where you'll find the stillness within the free. Sama-sama. Terima kasih sudah datang. Thank you for coming this freeradio.net. Sudah datang sini. Thank you very much. Dan um, terima kasih juga untuk Dawai Budaya Nusantara Foundation untuk Teh Yuni atau nuhun pisan. Thank you Teh Yuni. <laughs> Thank okay. you Dite. Terima kasih Amanda dan Michael. Good luck for your um, next project, next album, and everything. Uh, good luck for your life, love, and everything. Can we uh, plug our Instagram? Okay. Okay. Please. Please follow us on uh, social media and Facebook, Twitter, at In Love Together. Dua together. Mm. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, thank you. And then uh, your YouTube, YouTube channel, YouTube channel. You can find searching in love mm -hmm. together, um, in this now. Okay. Just in love in this now. In love in this now. Yeah. In love in rainbows. We have a few videos up there. Check yeah. Out. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Hoping you. Um, with health, with life, with love. Thank you. Aww. Thank you, Amanda and Michael. You. See you soon. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So sweet. So sweet. <laughs>